New numbers tonight examining the Catholic Church in America. The study from Pew Research shared nine key findings. Among them, in 2023, 20% of the U.S. adults described themselves as Catholic, a 2% increase from the previous year. Additionally, support for Pope Francis remains high, with three-quarters of American Catholics expressing a favorable view of him, though that number is down from previous highs. And for more on this, let's bring in Associate Director of Research at Pew Research Center, Greg Smith. Greg, thanks so much for being here today. Uh, a lot to unpack, but first, what stands out the most to you when it comes to the findings of the study? Uh, one of the things I found really striking was that the big majority of U.S. Catholics continue to tell us that they have a favorable view of Pope Francis. Three quarters of all Catholics in the United States say they have a positive impression of the Pope. So that's very high, much higher than we see for many political figures, for example. At the same time, the survey also shows that those favorable ratings for Pope Francis have ticked down a little bit in recent years. We've asked this question, do you have a favorable, unfavorable view of Pope Francis, a bunch of times times over the course of his pontificate. And the number saying they have a positive view of him has tended to be north of 80 percent. So the latest finding, 70 75 percent of U.S. Catholics with a favorable view of the pope is very high, but a little lower than what we've seen in the past. Yeah. And another thing that really stood out to us uh, from the findings here was that only three in 10 Catholics attend mass on a weekly basis. How does that compare um, and do you know against other religions? And also, has it changed through the years? We do. We, we, we know that 28% of U.S. Catholics tell us they attend Mass weekly. Uh, another 10% or so say they go once or twice a month. And most Catholics, most people in the United States who describe themselves as Catholics say they go to church a few times a year or less or never. That makes the um, rate of religious attendance among Catholics a little bit lower than what we see among Protestants. We can also see very clearly in the data that there are big differences in the beliefs and attitudes of Catholics who attend Mass regularly and Catholics who don't. One example of that is in questions we ask about people's opinions about abortion. Most Catholics who attend Mass weekly tell us they are opposed to legal abortion. By contrast, most Catholics who attend Mass less often tell us they mostly think abortion should be legal. And before I let you go, uh, something else that we want to hit on, of course, we know uh, things are really divided right now in the United States when it comes to politics. And your report shows uh, the 52 percent of Catholics now lean Republican and about 44 percent uh, are Democrats. Interesting there. Has it always been so close, Greg? Yes, Catholics have been have been divided more or less evenly in American politics for quite some time now. Um, as you mentioned, there are a few more Republicans today among Catholics than there are Democrats, but especially compared to some other groups, Catholics in the United States are fairly evenly divided politically. This is another example, though, where we see huge differences between white Catholics and Hispanic Catholics. Most white Catholics tell us that they identify with or lean toward the Republican Party in American politics. By contrast, Hispanic Catholics are basically the exact opposite. Most Hispanic Catholics tell us they identify with or lean toward the Democratic Party. So another example of big differences between white Catholics and Hispanic Catholics. All right. Well, Greg Smith of the Pew Research Center, thank you so much for breaking this all down for us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.